What's up guys, Ankle here, and today we are playing as Leona in the top lane. And you know, I gotta say, I'm not sure if I expected myself to do this. Um I considered it. Wait, who am I against? I'm against a rise. Let's actually go for this start. Now this was something I considered because it was actually just in the YouTube comments and they're like, you know what? My laptop broke and I was wondering if you would do this for me. And usually, as you guys know, I, or probably know, I don't really generally take requests ever, but I thought about it and I was like, for whatever reason, that sounds kind of fun. So, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, playing the Leona top and we're going to give this a good old try. It looks like we will be against a Rise, so this will be rising to the occasion. Should be a very rough lane for us. And I actually am using the wrong mastery page. I really wanted the Thunderlord's Decree page. But I guess I'm going to have a Fervor of Battle page. So that's not too good. But it is okay. We'll be okay, I think. I hope. Um, but we'll find out. We will find out. So uh, I do apologize if I cannot be as loud as I usually would be. Or as excitable as I usually would be this game. This is actually my eighth game in a row trying to record top lane for you guys. My throat is really feeling it. Um, so like I said, I am sorry if I cannot uh, put as much emphasis into some things as I usually can. Or, uh, you know, if, if things are going awry. But we'll do our best. We will do our best. So with a Doran's Shield Start, we are actually a little more resilient to his auto attacks. And we do have a bit more um, sustain on our HP. Now... The thing with Leona Top is that, well, honestly, it's pretty bad for a little while. Um, due to the fact that, well, you don't really, you don't really do anything. Um, and Ryze is just having his way with us right now. And I really, I'm really wishing I had that Thunderlords, in all honesty. And First Blood already going down to Elise, killing our Lee Sin. Will be just taking his life there. So... That will be the end of that. And let's see what we can do. So there's our level 2. Rise is level 2 as well. I'm actually not going to bother getting my E yet because I don't really want to go in. I just want to get my W and chill. Because basically, I want to farm up until I can just um, get the tank stats enough to fight him. Um, and by tank stats, I probably mean Hydra. So I'm going to go for that Titanic Hydra this game. We're going to have a great... We're just going to have a grand old time. So let's go ahead and kill this. And Elise is right over there at the blue trying to steal it. And let's go ahead and just walk this way. I'm going to drop my W real fast here just to avoid taking a little bit of damage. Elise going to be trying to counter jungle but will fail miserably as she goes down. That is good for us. So terrific right there. Elise not going to get anything out of her second invade. And I would try and go in and do some damage to this Rise, but I don't think I should. I should honestly just wait for our Lee Sin to try and come and help, because that would be our best uh, our best bet for doing stuff right now, is if I just, you know, gank with him, in a sense. Um, basically wait until he ganks, and then go in on that, because Leona does do a lot of damage uh, based off of, you know, helping her teammates do more damage. And that's what we're going to be counting on early here. So, with that in mind, let's go ahead and just do what we can. I will level up my W first, very standard. Uh, let's go ahead and there's our W just to uh, get that little increased resistances. Ryze doesn't have any mana. And let's go ahead and see here. Will he go for the flash? No, he's not going to. So, we'll just walk out of here. No, no pain, no gain, as they say. And let's go back. So on this back, we are going to get a Ruby Crystal and a bunch of health potions. Um, that's all I want to get because I just want to survive the lane and hope that Lee Sin comes in ganks top soon. Because um, like I keep saying, if he does, we'll be able to kill him no problem with Leona. If I'll, you know, I'll even communicate it. If you gank top, it should be easy because I'm Leo. Happy face. So give him a big old happy face. Let him know that I'm all, uh, all hunky-dory here. And we should have a grand old time just murdering on the rise. Which he does have teleport, so that is one thing we have to keep in mind. He will be um, he will be able to just go back, get his tier, 
Come back into this lane. Let's go ahead and Zenith Blade that. Get our auto attack off here. Maybe auto Q that one. Auto this one once. Auto it again. And, uh, no. <laughs> Not going to get that last one. But still getting the majority of the other ones in front of it will be fine. And I've had to drop so many CS, but that is A-OK. -okay. And I really feel like I should have brought Teleport into this lane. Because what I should do, like how I should play this lane, first of all, I should have Thunderlords. That's a big, obvious choice. Uh, for what I should have in this lane. I should have a Thunderlord's Decree on my Masteries, so I should be running either 12, 18, 0, or uh, 0, 18, 12 um, as my Masteries. Probably 12, 18, 0. Uh, whoop. Yeah, nice, we got it. So look at that damage that Rise is doing. A little bit of damage there coming out. And let's see, it looks like we do have Lee Sin coming in. And let's see here, he will apparently no. So I'm sure there's probably either a pink ward somewhere, or not pink, but uh, a ward somewhere right in there. So let's go ahead and, woo! Gonna be doing some good damage to this guy. Look at that damage! A good trade going off for us. Going to just be shitting all over him. Look at that damage going off on Rise. He did not see it coming. So maybe after we get our level 6 here, we can all in him. So let's do it. Let's do it. Go ahead and drop that. There's the ultimate going to flash out of it. He will. And that will be, well, Rise is doing as much as he can with all of his spell vamp. So Rise no flash. Rise no flash. Go ahead and communicate that with our team. And maybe if I had used my ultimate sooner, I think I might have been able to kill him there. I was trying to wait out the stun so I could stack them. But going to actually be shitting on Rise here in that matchup will be very good for us and I'm I'm getting some good vibes about this lane I gotta be honest with you so Rise actually needing to take the high road out of here as we uh, shit on him we actually just murdered him so that <laughs> alright yeah I bet he did not see that coming can't say I saw it coming but I bet he did not see that coming either so I'm actually going to no going to try and no Gonna miss both of those. What the hell? All right, come on. Ugh, yes. Okay, we got it. We got that siege. Boop. And there's Rise now. He is going to try and run behind me, so I'm just going to run away here. Looks like he is going for the. Uh, well, he's gonna go for the super lockdown. Let's go ahead and just. Well, I think I'm gonna flash here. So he's not gonna be able to catch us now. So just uh, just using my flash as a safety precaution. He may have been able to kill me there, I'm not 100% sure, but I don't really want to, um, <coughs> I don't want to push my luck and find out either. So let's actually go straight for the Hex Drink of this game. I think this will be our best choice, now that I'm thinking about it, because it is an Elise jungle with a Rise top laner, so lots of damage there. And then they do have Vayne and Varus, so with those two combined, this is actually going to be a very good game. For me to be playing Leona top but as I was saying earlier things to think about when playing this Leona top first of all of course Thunderlord's decree very important um, teleport though will be another huge thing building or not building but running teleport and then just building like lots of tank stats in CDR and then playing it kind of kind of like you would play Nautilus top um, where you don't go for all the kills per se but you are obviously helping your team a shit ton just by, you know, by being in team fights, by being this massive tank force that you can be. But let's go ahead and see what's going on here. Rise may have left to go try and help that. Uh, oh god, I just missed that siege man because I misclicked it. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So I still don't know where Rise is. Uh, he hasn't shown his face in a little while. There he is. So let's go ahead and maybe I can maybe I can go in on him. But apparently the enemy Vayne is going unstoppable. Look at this damage coming out. Look at it, dude. Look at that dank-ass damage. Let's go ahead and drop our ultimate right here. Boom! That's going to be a stun going off. And maybe we can do a little more. Drop the ignite. Turn on him. There's the stun. Will it kill him? We will get the kill. That's going to be a kill. One for one right there in the exchange. We'll be picking up a good old kill on the rise using that ignite and let's see here I am going to go for the Q max second because that will allow me to stun more frequently as well as do more damage with my uh, enhanced reset auto attack so one for one right there rise is actually only 13 CS ahead of me so overall I'd say we're not doing bad 
So I will take my victories where I can get them. But apparently the enemy vein is 5-0-1. So that could prove to be problematic in this, uh, in this game. But for now, let's only worry about what's immediately in our faces and not worry about what's going on elsewhere, right? So, let's see. Braum is mid, apparently, with Varus. All right. Interesting. And I might... Let's see. I'm trying to think of what I should build this game as far as, like, items. I know I want to go for really heavy CDR. Uh, that's for sure. But let's see. Let's wait for that passive of his to go down a little bit. Because basically, I want him to not have that. <laughs> I want him to not have exactly what he's doing right now. So let's go ahead and just jump on him right now. Do some good damage. That's going to be some good pain off on him. Good job, us. And if we can get another round of... Oh, God. If we can just live... Okay, we're fine. We are totally fine. And let's go ahead and see here. He will pop our Hex Drinker. Totally fine. That is why we have it. So it can be used. Let's go ahead and just... Whoop. Actually, I'm taking a lot of damage here. <laughs> God, my throat. I'm so sorry, guys. I am so sorry. I really feel like... After my potions stick me up a little bit, if Lee Sin comes up here, that would be a fantastic time for him to, uh, well, really get a kill up here. It would be actually a rather free kill, if you ask me, due to the fact that, um, well, I mean, since I can already get him down to, like, half health by myself, just in one little exchange, I, I imagine it would be pretty easy to kill him with, uh, with anybody ganking, for, as a matter of fact. Like, not even just a Lee Sin. Literally anyone could gank, and I think we would win really hard. But apparently, the vein is getting a little huge, and that is not good for us. That is not good at all. So, that is something to watch out for, and let's see what we can do. So, he is bottom right now. Going to be losing some of my HP, but that's okay. That is A-OK. -okay. My Hex Drinker will actually be up in 20 seconds again, along with my Ignite. So, I might be able to fight him right then. Um, depending on what the... What the situation in this lane is at the moment. He did level up, so he did get his catalyst, meaning he will be able to get back up to full health. So I... Eh. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I should try and all in him. Even though I kind of want to, I really, really think it's a bad idea. So I'm going to keep playing this lane like a bitch. I do apologize for how boring this probably is to watch, but I need to just wait it out, be patient, and let someone come to me. Um, so I'm actually going to spam the assist me ping. Just, well not spam it, but you know, use it twice. Make sure people don't forget that I exist. Because that would be terrific, uh, if someone, someone could come up here. But let's see, it looks like he is just, well actually he's just going to give all of his love and attention to bottom. So I mean, that's not bad. Because, I mean, if they can do something with it, that's totally fine. But they need to be able to do something with it. So I guess... Guess Rise is gonna bust everything he's got, trying to bust it all up, you know, bust a nut on me, but will not work. So I'm actually gonna stay here for this wave too, because I doubt Rise will dive me. If he does, he's asking to get murdered, because I can just lock him down under that tower. And with my W up, he's not gonna be able to kill me, I don't think. So we'll see what he goes for. We'll see what he tries. How the hell did that hit me? Okay. Okay, whatever. So let's go ahead and drop this. Let's see if we can get this ultimate right there. That's going to be the stun. And, you know, I'm not going to go on on it. I thought about trying to E on him and Q him and keep him under that tower with my Ignite. But I think it would have been a bad idea. So let's go ahead and go back here. Uh, looks like he is looking for me. Not going to find me, though. Or maybe he did find me and he's just not going to get me. Either way, not going to get this booty. And let's see. Titanic. Titanic. There we go. Uh, Hydra, let's go ahead and buy the Jarm's Fist and another Ruby Crystal. This will give me more HP and more AD. So, good stuff coming in. Let's just keep chilling. Looks like Lee Sin going in around the outside. Chain of Corruption will miss. The Q will land. And there's just a smack of Sonic Wave right into his face. <coughs> Excuse me. So, fortunately for us, uh, it is only the vein that's huge on their team. Everyone else is actually struggling, except for the rise, um, which would be very easy to shut down. And I know, I know, I sound like a broken record saying this, but if you're gonna play Leona top, make sure you get your team to gank, because obviously, while I do have potential to do stuff uh, on my own, it's very iffy 
uh, especially against a Ryze who can just vomit damage everywhere. Um, that is a difficult call to make. So let's go ahead and just do our best, though. Get some CS while Ryze is out of the lane. Because I don't know if he teleported down bottom or if he just ran down there. Because he has been out of lane for a very long time. So things to consider when you're trying to decide whether you want to push or whether you want to... Um, whether you want to just play it like a bitch. So let's go ahead and get some damage off on this turret. But boom! Good old damage off right there with our little shield of daybreak. So, oh, he came back with a blue buff and a rod of ages. Okay, now I desperately need a gank. Um, <laughs> I desperately, desperately need a gank. So, I'm going to say assist me. I'm going to keep saying assist me. Because this would be very free ganks. Very free ganks. Very free ganks. Allow me to repeat myself. Very free ganks. But uh, not so free for me. Because I can't 1v1 him. Cannot 1v1 him. And I, I, I feel bad that I'm not saying anything else. But there's nothing else to say. Like, there's nothing else for me to talk about. I can't do shit. Because I didn't take teleport. That was, like, that's my own fault. But I didn't take teleport. And that's a huge issue. So, I guess I'll just chill. <laughs> Guess I'll just chill, and I'll make sure that if he tries to teleport out of here, I'll stop him. But uh, other than that, it's not looking like I can really do much of anything. So maybe we can run up there, get this, just do a little damage here, throw the W out. Let's go ahead and run up here, see if we can explode on these minions. He will do a little damage to us here, not really going to matter too much. So it looks like he's trying a little bit there to just... Uh, do as much as you can. This is very obnoxious. This is incredibly obnoxious, actually. But, what you gonna do? So this tower is gonna go down. Let's go ahead and just drop him right here. Maybe we can get that. Let's go ahead and drop the flash out. And, you know, I'm probably gonna die. Yep. Yep, indeed. <sighs> can anyone please just gank? This is so boring! Oh God! I just want to do stuff, but it's Rise, man. I can't do shit to him. <sighs> All right, that's okay. It's totally just dandy. So maybe, maybe, maybe if he does anything, or maybe we should just play it like a standard top laner, and you know count on the rest of our team to do everything until like 45 minutes into the game and then we'll be fine so now that you know now that everyone's all gone and I'm not gonna get anything out of it they decided to kill him the tail of a top laner lovely <laughs> perfect all of my whining paid off it seems so hopefully he'll come back now sometime soon so then we can actually do something. Um, it looks like the rest of my team is just doing well. So I'm about to just abandon top, honestly. Because that would probably be my best choice. If they're not, like, if my teammates will not come up here and help me when I need the help to kill him, um, I have to go take myself to them so I can be useful. So I'm going to do that. Fuck this teammate. So I'm going to go top. Or I'm gonna go mid and uh, join my lovely teammates and say not fuck these teammates and kill them that way. So we're gonna count on the roams. We're gonna count on the power of the roams. I should get a sweeper too, so I can sweep things. So let's just see here. Leona is now the mid laner. Hello, I am now mid. So let's see. Whoop. Go ahead and murder this whole wave. Not super quickly, but actually, you know what? Overall, that's pretty quick. So maybe bit, bit. Blip, blip. There we go. I think ankle is right. This is <laughs> oh, good jokes, good jokes, good good banter, if you will. So let's see if we can. Let's see if we can just do this. If anyone comes top, we can kill Rise together. Anyone? 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 Literally anyone. Maybe not Bard, but we'll try. So let's see here. Go ahead and drop the Ignite. That's going to be... There's the big stun. Look at all this damage. What do you think was going to happen? Fucking Rise? 
See, this is exactly what I mean. Even with just the bard, look at that, dude. Look at Leona just use all of her abilities. And then next thing you know, even the super broken ass Rise, who's super fed, just falls down because everyone just dies to the goddamn gank. And I am so tilted right now, dude. I am. Oh my god, I am tilted. This is lovely. This is perfect. But we got our Titanic Hydra. We got the Home Guards. 20 minutes into the game. There's a little action finally. Let's see if we can do anything now that we have a little bit of HP and a little bit of love. So, hey, guys. Hey. So it looks like we got Jasmina here. Maybe we can do stuff together. So the cum shot will land all up in my face, just covering my face with that delicious, delicious uh, fluid substance. So let's see. Maybe Winter's Bite will not follow up the cum shot, though. So that is, I mean, that's something to note. I forgot to get my sweeper, too. So whoops. Whoopsies. And let's see. Maybe. Where'd you go? Where'd Vane go? Oh, Vane. All right. She's not there. So I decided to just kind of throw it there out of rage and anger and spite. See if she was there. She was not. So Vayne is 12 and 1. Um, honestly, though, if I can just get on her and lock her down. She doesn't have a QSS. Braum doesn't have a uh, whatever that thing is called, the McHales. So if I can get on her, I'll do the Leona thing to her. And then she's not going to have a good time. And that will, well, that'll be that. So let's all go bottom. Dragon's up in 15 seconds. Rise can teleport in, but since I'll actually be down here this time, I'll be able to help. And that's the real kicker here. So let's see. He will be taking out my wards, sadly. And that is... I mean, it's okay. It's not good, but it's okay. So maybe we can do a little bit of something. Maybe, maybe a little bit of something. Maybe a little bit of something, something. So they will go for the dragon here. Let's go ahead and just kill this thing that pops up in it. And I'll just sit here and be a sentry in this bush. So hey guys. Hey guys. How's it going? How's it going? Oh, whoop, boom. That's going to be the big ultimates coming in. Look at this damage. And look at it. There's the explosion. I'm going to flash over the wall. Get myself out of here. And let's see it. There's the vein. And come here. Come on. Get right clicked! Yeah, brother, that's gonna be the stun and the ultimate combo! Oh, that was disappointing. I'm not even playing Caitlyn. And Jasmina has quit! <laughs> so rest in peace and the perfect, perfect ace. Five for nothing. And now Echo has left the game too. Okay. Well, an ace that we're apparently not gonna do anything with. Perfect. That is, uh, that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted the whole time. An ace that we do absolutely nothing with. Okay, let's go for the Iceborne Gauntlet here. I think that'll be a good choice. So Iceborne Gauntlet will give us a lot of CDR, a lot of, um, well, a lot of Sheen proc, I guess, is one way to put it. A lot of Sheen proc, a lot of armor, a lot of mana, and, uh, you know, some of that good stuff. Some of that good, good stuff. So four, two, and three now. We are finicking with this Leona top. The lane phase is shit unless you're getting a lot of attention from your jungler. That is my official deduction. And now everyone's just trolling me. Good. Good, good, good. I'm glad. I'm glad these are my friends. They troll me. I forgot my sweeper again. Oh man, you guys didn't remind me. Alright, that's okay. That's okay. I'll try and remind myself next time. So let's go ahead and look. Look at this wave clear now with Titanic Hydra too. This is actually not bad. Actually not bad. Blech. <clears throat> so that Titanic Hydra is already doing 91 bonus damage on hit. So, oh, look at that tower damage too. Oh, Rise, you want to do this, sweetie? Okay, he probably does want to do this. So let's, oh, totally miss. Okay, split. Come on, split. Maybe we can do this. There's the ultimate. There's his Seraphs. Now let's go ahead and just maybe. There's the ignite. There's the Q. Look at this damage. What are you doing, bit? Okay, he's wrecking me. You know, I thought I had that. I really did. I really did. Maybe if I ignited sooner. But who knows? Who knows? I tried to do my best I could, and I uh, sucked. I really sucked a dick. There's that's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. I I licked a gigantic cock, and well, as you could see though, even with Rise's HP and through his Seraphs and through his <laughs> passive shield. We can do a lot of damage to people in a duel. So that's pretty cool. Um, good to know. Good to know indeed. 
So let's see. Maybe we can do something. 4-3-3 three, and three so far, though. Not bad. Not bad at all. And our CS actually, even though it's not great, it's not atrocious either. So we got that going for us as well. So maybe... I bet I could duel Varus if I get the drop off on him. I bet I could duel most of these people if I get the drop off on him. Maybe not Vayne because she can just condemn me away. But uh, quite a few of these other guys I probably could. So let's go ahead and not get hit by that. The Runan's Caitlyn farming will be too strong for me to get any of those mini onions. And that's that's okay. She is the carry after all. And oh god. Oh Jesus. Oh god. Alright the perfect stun from my ultimate will save my life. And, uh, yep, she did a lot of damage. Whoa! Echo will be getting the kill. Good job, Echo. You got me the assist. A clapper for you, sir. So let's see. Not gonna. <laughs> Alright, they saw me. Oh! <laughs> Alright! <laughs> so they really wanted me to not get out of there. I see. <laughs> I see, I see, I see. <coughs> but they will not be getting me out of that. Let's go ahead and yeah, Blurg! Look at this damage! Look at that da Oh god, I meant the damage on me! Okay, well, you know what? That could have gone worse. I don't- I, I- I don't know what in my mind thought that was even a remotely good idea. I am just tired, I am out of it, I am- I am all leagued out for the day. And even with that excuse of League of Legends, I still did half of Varus' health. That's awesome. That is awesome. So let's see. We're getting very close to our Iceborne Gauntlet. I should just go back top, farm up a little bit, get that Iceborne. Um, maybe go for a Frozen Heart after that so we can max out our CDR and also get a lot more armor to deal with the Vein and the Varus. Um, and after that, we'll probably get a Banshee's Veil if we... Yeah, I think a Banshee's Veil would be good. Because Banshee's Veil will give us more HP as well as the magic resistance to deal with the Rise. Um, and the the, uh, b the the Banshee's Bubble. The Banshee's Bubble. I don't know what it's called. The Spell Blocking Bubble. The Magic Resistant Bubble that blocks a spell is what I'm trying to get at here. That's what I'm trying to hint at for you guys. Um, and that would be good because, first of all, if I get hit by Van Condemn, that would save me from getting knocked away. Elise Cocoon, you know, some of the Rise damage. Whatever it is, I would I would have some of it. And now I definitely can't duel this Rise. He is level 15. I am level 14. I am going to take some damage. Not going to keep fighting this, though, because I do just want to get on out of here. But I am not able to fight him because he does have some armor now. And as weird as it sounds, because I am Leona, uh, that armor is actually going to be the big difference between life and death for us. But Rise is going to be teleporting in, and that is not good for us. Let's see if I can get in there in time, though. I was responding. There's the big Bardalt buying some time here. Now let's see Echo going to come in, and maybe there's the ultimate coming in. Going to slow him, but boom! That's going to be some big damage. There's the exhaust and the ignite. Will Oh, I got the kill, and let's see. There's the stun. Boom! There's the double kill for Leona. Making the good roams in here. A magical journey making me feel like a real little boy. Back off to Never Everland. And that is good. So 30 to 23 now. Braum is going to be the lone defender of this tower. But apparently not going to last for very long. We did get a blue buff right there. So let's go ahead and round. Boink. That's going to be an easy kill for sure. Kaboom. The ace coming in. Will be another easy ace for us. Should be the inhibitor tower, maybe even the inhibitor as well. If I can, if I can hit the vein with my zenith blade like this, like that, like this, like that, y'all, will be some good damage. There's the headshot, kaboom! Look at that damage. Not gonna kill her though. Will he get though? No, he will not. Okay, murdered. But we got the inhibitor, and that is good. Oh God! All right, very sniping. God, my throat hurts so bad. Mm. I am so sorry, guys. I am so, so sorry. But we do have our Iceborne Gauntlet now. That is some good CDR. That will put us up to, what, 20%? Because, yeah, 20% from that. Um, Frozen Heart next will be very, very good for us. And let's see. Let us see. Maybe we can... Yeah, we'll just get a Cloth Armor for now. <clears throat> Go from there. With this uh, little Iceborne Gauntlet, though, we do have the Sheen Effect as well as quite a lot more uh, mana 
And some more armor, some more good stuff. There's the Zonias. Not going to be getting out of it. Okay, well, he's not going to get out of it, but we will get a kill with it. So that's definitely better than what the alternative was looking like. But with mid inhibitor down for them, that will apply a lot of pressure on the map for us. Um, just naturally because of the minions. And I am getting to the point where even though I'm still Leona, I'm still doing quite a lot of damage. Definitely a respectable amount of damage. And that was what, their second dragon? Yeah, second dragon going down for them will be, um, you know, not very important. Second and fourth dragons are, they're okay, but if they're not the fifth, they're not super important. So let's see, I do have a bard off on the side. She does have a QSS now, so if I do try and all in her, she can just bust out of it. So I need to make sure that my teammates are around if I plan on trying to go in on this vein. <clears throat> So let's see. Maybe I considered that. I definitely considered that. I know you guys saw it in my eyes. You saw the urge to kill rising. So maybe, maybe we can do it. Maybe, maybe. All right. Whoa, what the heck? What the, the how did I even do, what the fuck? How did I do, go there, the, the, what, what? 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 I just like flew a mile away. That's not how. That just reminded me why I love playing Echo. Just that damage alone. But the oh the vein. Will she be going down? There's the autos. There's the Echo. This Echo. Oh my goodness. He is huge. He is a big boy. So let's see it. Jasmina will be going for it. Kaboom! That's going to be the headshot right in the back of her asshole. And he is going to get the kill and chrono break on out of that. And that's... That's game. We just... We just won. Yeah, brothers! We just won a video game! It only took like 14 games, but we did it! Ooh, woo! That's what we needed! We needed it! We did it! Just to praise the goddamn heavens! Oh my god! Wait, no! Come on! Win! Win! Oh, thank god. Oh, cool. Yay! We did it! We came together like mindedness and all and had Echo carry us! So great job to everyone. I did more damage than our jungler and our support. So, you know, success. And I did more damage than their mid laner. Nice. But, overall, you know, take my advice from the Leona experience that I've gathered. Um, from what I would suggest. Like I said, make sure you pound it into your teammates' heads that you need ganks. As you guys saw that one time we did get the gank, we murdered him. Even though it was just barred. Like, it was just Bard, and we still just massacred Rise due to the combined damage of my passive and all of my CC. But, um, you know, lots of ganks with your Leona top. Make sure you're running Thunderlord's Decree. Um, try and go for a tankier rune page, or mastery page, I mean. And for runes, I was just running Flat AD. I'm not sure if that's the best or anything for this, but it did seem to work out, uh, and it helped me with CSing. And this build, I think, was fine. Um, Hex Drinker, you know, if you're not going against an AP matchup, you can go for Dead Man's Plate is a fantastic item. Uh, Titanic Hydra is still very good. Lots of damage on there. Iceborne Gauntlet, Frozen Heart, uh, Banshees, Randuins, Thorn Mail, everything there is very good. Um, but if you guys did enjoy this video, do make sure you leave a like and favorite. It really does help me out. If you want to, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Twitch. I'll throw in the description below. And as always, I love you guys. You'll be a wonderful day. Peace!